So for today, we're going to be looking at the weekly stuff for 801 and Eververse. If you guys don't know, we usually look at challenges, but considering we're on week 17 and usually the challenges are up uh, by week 10, that's why we don't do challenges anymore. But if you guys want, I can go through all the challenges and tell you which ones are the easiest ones. But other than that, let's look at 801. But before we do that, let's actually look at the fit for the video because I know some people are going to be asking me. So here it is. Uh, we're using the, I forgot what this one's called, the uh the facade this helmet with the european uh, europan scout visor i like that ornament a lot it makes that exotic very usable because the base look of it is if you don't lean into it, it could look really terrible um diamonds born grips the crystal cream vest with the dark age strides and dark age cloak so obviously i'm going for a snow soldier look which is kind of kind of on par with what i usually go for when i combine tactical sets but you can also use this shader i would probably just switch out the boots and the arms because i don't, I don't want that orange in there but yeah definitely a favorite like combo of mine for the shadering we're gonna be using ultra plasmic love this shader um so yeah let me know what you guys think about that uh also just to quickly let you know if you guys like the video like comment subscribe really does help um but other than that let's look at the shaders so gold leaf <sighs> I like the shader quite a bit. I think this is, yeah, this is the green one. So if you want, you can go for a look like this where it's rarely showing green, but there is green in here. You guys can see it right here. It's very like, it's a pretty terrible green if I'm being quite, quite honest, but it's a really good gold. I would definitely recommend it if you combine just the gold. We have Bray Innovation, which I would recommend this one for Titans specifically. And it's a really weird recommendation because it's for an exotic that doesn't change colors specifically. Let me just show you real quick for Eternal Warrior. So like, that's what I would do, honestly, just because that's going to be the easiest thing for you. But again, like, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things like, do you want to buy a shader just for one exotic? I definitely think it looks cool without it, but that's, that's what I just think. Let me know what you guys think. Um, for the last shader, let me see real quick. New Monarchy Allegiance, which is the orange one. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. I definitely would say you can skip this one, but it's up to you. Honestly, you might never know when it looks cool, but I'm not waiting for that. As for the armor set, it's going to be right here. I, I'm going to be honest. I really don't like talking about a lot of the armors that 801 sells because she sells them all the fucking time. That being said, we'll talk about it, I guess. Let me see. It should be in the last page, I think. It is in the last page. Okay, let me go just go for all of them. So, Hunters, a lot of the yellow does not change color. And I think the white on the cloak and the white on the actual visor doesn't change color either. Other than that, not a really big fan of a lot of these pieces. I think the helmet's pretty cool. I think the chest piece is interesting. But other than that, everything else is kind of whatever's. Titans, I think the helmet is really cool if you want to go for a Xenomorph look, which I've done in previous videos um other than that if you see a copper color it cannot change color and the red boxes do not change colors as well and then warlocks i am not a fan of literally any of it um just because there's a better set out there that use utilizes a lot of these pieces and it's just better overall so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from 801 i definitely would recommend these two shaders uh honestly just pick up all the shaders if you have it's just glimmer now and glimmer is really easy to pit, like get now it's only 10,000 so 30,000 in total but i definitely would recommend at least the shaders the armor sets i honestly would only recommend them if you have the legendary shaders to burn and if you want to be like i want to complete as many armor sets as possible so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up as for eververse first and foremost we do have a ghostbusters gear bundle which is cool i guess i don't know um i like don't get me wrong i like uh don't get me wrong i like ghostbusters but the only thing i would buy is this honestly this is a really cool ship because it is a ship i was expecting it to be a, a sparrow but the sparrow is this right here which isn't bad again it's cool but i just don't really know if i care <laughs> like that's like my biggest thing so especially for like 25 bucks like dog uh no thanks bro i'd rather spend my money elsewhere thank you though appreciate you don't forget to pick up the the bright dust the free bright dust for the week which is really cool for these shaders we have up for grabs which is the mcdonald's one we have rivalry white sand which this one doesn't look bad at all honestly 
looks really cool very off color is a cool matte black which is again cool uh we have transmat effect stalwart sigil this is the titan one we have triple bogey this might be a small one and then for the stuff at the bottom we have i don't even know how to say this but oh this one's the one from last year if i remember correctly or the year before i think uh champion advantage this is the one from this year which it's just a confetti that i'm not the big fan of honestly um tasseled shell this is the one from this year as well again just the fucking this right here just pisses me off uh if it changed color i think that would have been way better we have free throw Uh, touchdown dance and then exercise cycle for the transmit effects we have reflections again which is the curse of Osiris one we have cyber class entrance we have spring fountain effects and then for the shaders photo finish I think I will make a video on this as in like a beat get before this week is over or just showcase it on Sun no I'll probably do a video on it just because I know people are gonna lose their shit if they miss out on this one uh, shit and slate which is always such a good shader I love this shader the shader so good I know it doesn't look good now but it's a good shader if you want to turn off a glow uh, rivalry black sand which is the one no we didn't see this one this is the other one I think it was it rivalry white sand was it um yeah i'm not a fan of it even though it's, i like this shader it, on this it doesn't look good and then verdant crown which we saw last week so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up i am definitely very so we we just saw the into the light um first live stream and i gotta say man i am kind of very neutral on it uh it was a they basically just showed the activity which is onslaught which is interesting very interesting i'm definitely going to make a video on it because i do think it's worth talking about but that's all they talked about for an hour and honestly after like 20 to 30 minutes in it was pretty much over like we already knew what the event or the activity was they talked about a lot of things which i wrote down a lot of things and it's it's interesting i like i like it i like it a lot because it's not your typical horde mode it is a horde mode but it reminds me more of like Call of Duty Zombies. Um, very, very minor, very minor. Don't get, don't get it twisted. It's nothing like that. But it's like it has traps that you can activate with currency, and it immediately reminded me of COD, or uh, more so, uh, Zombies. And I was like, okay, cool. Like I'm, I like where their head is going. I like where we're getting a little bit more things other than just a horde mode, which essentially this is just a horde mode with extra steps, but. I will applaud them for doing something that is relatively new in Destiny 2, not so much in the gaming community, but again, like I said, I want to at least praise them for the thing that they did well. So we're going to talk about that probably in the next video, which literally might be today or tomorrow, most likely tomorrow because I have work in, what, three hours, which we'll see. I, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, am I no because once i get back from work i have to go immediately to sleep because i gotta wake up at six in the morning for my next job or my second job i should say so uh probably when i get back no i can't because i got like my this is the worst the worst part about having two jobs is tomorrow i have uh i go in at six in the morning get out at two and then i think when i get home i'll have like two hours to chill and then i go back to my, my other job so i work both jobs tomorrow but after that i won't be working two jobs in the same day because i told my boss not to. It, this doesn't matter either way let me know what you guys think about the into the light if you saw it let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from 801 or eververse and other than that be safe i will see you guys later